Hi, and welcome to section 3 of the course, where we'll be talking about service resilience with Istio. In this video, we'll be adding a circuit breaker to our microservice communication paths. As usual, I've prepared a small readme file to follow along throughout this video. Make sure you have all the prerequisites. You have a running Istio installation on your Kubernetes cluster. Also, make sure you have labeled your default namespace or the namespace you want to run the demo in so that the sidecar injection is working properly. Also, make sure that you have exported the external IP address of your Istio Ingress Gateway. The first thing we need to do is we need to deploy a small demo application. So let's do that. So first up, we will deploy in the demo application. So we have three deployments here, Istio version 1, Hello Istio version 2, and a new deployment called Hello Message version 1. The two first deployments, Hello Istio version 1 and version 2, will be talking to Hello Message version 1 to get text messages. Now we need to deploy the Istio gateway. We need to deploy the Istio virtual service. And we need to deploy the Istio destination. So this is what we have running now. We have three deployments, and as I said before, Hello Istio version 1 and version 2 will be talking to Hello Message version 1. So this is what the results looks like. And this text message here, as you see, this message comes from this Hello Message service. The problem with this is that if there's something wrong with this Hello Message service, you will also see errors and even blocks at all our Hello Istio version 1 and version 2 services. So this is what circuit breakers are for. So let's add a circuit breaker to our mesh. Now first up, open the Hello Message destination YAML. This is where we configure traffic policies and the circuit breaker definitions. Now the circuit breaker and the traffic policy can be added at two places. It can be added at the global destination rule level, and it can also be added at the subset level, where it only applies to the specific version. Now let's do this here. Copy this block and insert it into the destination rule of Hello Message. So we define a traffic policy and we specify the so-called outlier detection. Now the first thing we specify is the consecutive errors, and we set it to 5 for example. So if there are five consecutive upstream errors, which is 502, 504, or 503, then the circuit breaker will be active. And those five errors will be in a sliding window of 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds, you may have new consecutive errors. If there is an error for an upstream host, then we will eject this upstream host for one minute. So this gives the upstream service time to recover properly from its error. And we also specify the MAC ejection percentage of 50%. So up to maximum of 50% of the upstream host can be ejected. So let's save this and apply it. So we apply the virtual service first and we apply the destination and we can check that everything worked. And here we go, it's still working. Now as you see, it's really easy to add a circuit breaker to a destination rule. And you can add this at various levels. So for example, you can also add the circuit breaker definition between the gateway and our Hello Istio virtual services. So this is what I've already done here. This is it for this video.